everybody, Josh from Soka here with another uh, one of our chain loop testing videos. This one uh, inspired by you. You asked for Pro Gold lubricants uh, on the test machine. And this is an interesting one. If you guys followed about five, six years ago, Leonard Zinn at uh, Vela News wrote a really interesting thing about ProLink, saying, you know, he'd been using it for about 10 years and was told that the uh, the lubricant would kind of layer up and met, quote unquote metal condition the chain. Um, and so he was a big believer, really loved the product, and then went to the Friction Facts Laboratory and they tested and basically found that, that none of that was really true. Um, to Pro Gold's credit, they changed their marketing. They don't use any of those terminology anymore. They don't talk about that as a feature. Um, but they still have a, a pretty solid market presence and I'd say a lot of people uh, who are fans of the lube and I would say my opinion it's a very good lubricant it's just really kind of an old technology right now uh, compared to some of the newer stuff so you asked for it how does pro gold uh, pro link compare to synergetic uh, I also figured we would do how does the extreme lube compare to synergy uh, which I would call our extreme lube for lack of a better term so uh, let's get going with the test machine here and see what we've got so got a brand new pin Put it under here as uh, last time I've got my microscope um, feeding out to my computer, my laptop here. I'll take little videos as I put the part under. So here's our first, um, here's our first part. Let me get it in there straight. Let me get it focused. Sorry, I didn't, forgot to pre-focus. Okay, so I'll take a uh, little picture of it here. Okay. So that's what it looks like there. Michelle will put it for you right there. Um, now let's go ahead and we will condition our wheel. Let's get our Pro Gold, shake it up. We we'll get a nice little coating of the Pro Gold lubricant on there. It's quite a low viscosity lube. We'll put a little bit on there as well. Um, you can see we are running at the two uh, plates, which is the 600 Newtons. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get it started here. I'm gonna load this up with extra lube and nice and coated you can see we're getting a little bit of fling down there let's go ahead and get it started for our one minute Ooh, it's got quite a smell 20 seconds to go, you can really tell the sound, it's really uh, stabilized. I would say it's doing better than I expected. You know, this was an interesting lube when they friction tested it. Um, it it's, I think, tested around eight watts um, of friction, whereas you know, some of the top lubricants are in around the four watt range. Um, again, I think it's just a little bit more of a historical technology than a current one. Um, Oh, timer is done. Let's go ahead and stop and pull it out. You can see a little bit. We've got uh, a good bit of flinging going on there. Oh, yeah, that's actually say that is better than I expected. Not amazing, but better than we expected. So let's get it ahead, put it down there, um, and I will get it in the video. Okay, we'll get a picture taken of that. And look at that. That's, that's probably about a two and a half, three millimeter uh, scar. That's, that's actually quite a bit better than a lot of the, the older technology lubes that we test here on this machine. So Pro Gold standard chain lube, I'd say um, not bad, not bad. So for a lube that we know it's not super low friction, um, we're probably talking about three to four watts off of uh, like the Synergetic, but from a wear tribology perspective, um, yeah, I would put it probably in the top 20% of ones that we've seen. So interesting result. Nice job, ProLink. Okay, let's uh, take it. We'll rotate our pin. Let me get everything clean. Michelle, speed us through the cleaning process. We'll get everything cleaned up and we will try Extreme. All right, we're back. We're all cleaned up. I've just rotated the pin so you can see the scars will be next to each other. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and load up with the Extreme Lube. 
Hmm, it's interesting. It doesn't really look. Whoa, it might actually be lower viscosity. Interesting. Okay, let's uh, load it up. I will get it started, and then I will get a nice coating going. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely I'm getting a lot more flinging. Uh, let's go to one minute. Interesting. Stabilized pretty quickly. I'll be interested to see um, if we really notice a difference here. Uh, extreme. They don't specifically say what the difference is between them. They just say uh, formulated for more extreme conditions and long distances. 35 seconds. Stop timer. Once again, I have to say, I am pretty impressed. Not bad, Pro Gold. Let's get this wiped. Let's get it under there. There is, let's get it shot. There is our second scar right on top. Just took that picture. Okay, Michelle, she's going to drop it right there. You can see, that's, again, about a, about a two and a half uh, millimeter wear mark. I, I can't say I see a difference between the two products. Um, yeah, interestingly, the little more flinging from the extreme, which is kind of the opposite of what I, I would have expected. Let's go ahead and rotate it. We'll clean wipe. Um, we'll throw some Synergetic on it, uh, and we'll see what we get. All right, we are back. We've got our Synergetic. We'll give it a little bit of a shake. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit down on my upper wheel here. Put a few drops there. We will load it into place. And give it a little bit of a coating. That's probably plenty. You can see it's nice and coated. It's kind of nice that the color here actually gives me a little bit of a thing so you can hear it. Uh, yeah, let's hear how it goes. Ready? Hmm. Nice and quiet. All right, 55 seconds. Just taking some pictures there. You can really, it's interesting to see how it holds um, on. I didn't get any pictures of the flinging of the other, but you know, it really is nice. Even at this speed, you can see it just stays stuck to the metal. Um, quite well, as we've seen before, you know, when we, when we lift it, you'll get that web because it does have a little tackifying agent in it. Um, and so we'll, we'll get some flinging at that point. But for the actual running, it, it's always fun to see how well it stays in place. Timer is done. That's my one minute. Let me go ahead and stop it. So if I stop it first, I've learned my lesson. I don't fling. Now I'm going to drip. Um, all right, let me get it. Let me get my wipe. And... There we go. Take a picture. And that is the classic synergetic uh, wear mark right there. It's right at a little under one millimeter. So we're talking a little less than half the wear uh, in the one minute test. Again, the Pro Gold really surprised me. Um, I was not expecting a two and a half millimeter patch, but the one millimeter um, synergetic, that's again, two, two and a half times less wear um, we also know it's a faster lube by as much as four watts, depending on which testing you look at. Um, but we'll go ahead and post that uh, Friction Facts Velo News test result um, here. Oh, actually, we're doing it digitally. Michelle, put it right there. You can see that the, the Pro Gold's out here um, with the Synergetics all the way over on the left. You're talking close to four watts difference. That's not small, um, especially when you consider that it, we're also less than half the wear in the test. But let's now go to center G. We'll rotate the pin again. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little bit crazy here. I'm gonna go at twice the load and see what happens with uh, center G. So let's clean it up. Okay, all right, we're ready. We've got the old Silka gear wipe, get everything clean. 
Uh, we take our center G, make sure it's closed before I shake it. Made that mistake earlier, that was not pretty. Um, so we just want to get it nice and shaken. You know, you do have the, the tungsten disulfide is a heavy particle. Um, and it's a little bit of work to get it back in suspension with these lubricants. So you want to invert the bottle, shake it upside down, and that's going to really um, do the best job of getting those particles uh, stirred into the lubricant. So what am I doing? I need to stop that. I'll put a couple of drops here. Drop here. Okay, put, it, put it on there. A little bit, let's get it started. It's the one thing with this lid, it's just whoa, I'm making a mess. Kind of missed. Um, so we'll get it, just get it started. Ooh, you can hear it right away, it goes quiet. We're gonna go to, ah, come on, Apple Watch, we're gonna go to one minute. Oh, and then I'm totally forgetting. Sorry, all I have is one plate. I thought I had two extra plates. Um, so 50% extra load here. We'll, we'll stack the gear wipes on it. Uh, I don't know how much that is, but it, it certainly isn't helping. Um, I will weigh these at the end and we'll put the number up to see how it compares to a plate. But you can really hear it leveled out super quick and there's just not a whole lot going on now. Twenty-four seconds to go. <laughs> there, put a bag of hot wax on that. That's enough. That's a five hundred gram bag of wax. I know that for sure. So I will weigh this stack at the end. We will calculate the load, uh, and I will let you know what that is. Oh, there we go. Timer done. Let's get our stack of mess off. Take a look at the wear patch. Ooh, look at that, Synergetic and Synergy once again. I, that Synergetic patch is, here, let's take that shot, is, get it a little bit more centered. Yeah, the Synergetic patch is a millimeter. This is probably about 1.1. We will calculate the load, throw it up there um, as soon as I'm done shooting this video so you can know what that is. So there we have it. You wanted it, Pro Gold, Pro Gold Extreme. We did it. Um, I would say, you know, not, not a terrible product, not nearly what I expected um, compared to, to what the friction results uh, as reported by Vela News and, and Friction Facts would have led me to believe. Typically, when you're in the eight watts of uh, friction sort of range, you're, you're quite a bit higher wearing. So, yeah, there you have it. Uh, twice the wear, almost twice the friction, but uh, for, you know, I think it's $10 a bottle or something. It's probably half the cost um, of our stuff. Eh, I would say not bad. Yeah, there you go. All right, be sure, like us, uh, share us with your friends, leave below other lubricants that you wanna see. We will test them right here in real time so you can see uh, exactly how things compare out. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time.